مساعدة أهلا وسهلا بكم في نصرية نتمنى أن تنالها إعجابكم شكرا بلو ياري أخلوانيا أغسطا أنا فوجو روي فخيك ذوير لخرور مك فرسي وين تانا غاس أن تراما أنخت وين شو نحرق لنا دانو Good evening ladies and gentlemen and you are all very welcome to our production of The Weir by Conor McPherson, with kind permission by Nick Hearn Agency in London. Our performance this evening is in two acts. Each act lasts approximately 45 minutes. There will be an interval of 15 minutes between both acts. Before we start, we would like to remind you of some important notices. Please note that there is no smoking in the theatre. Please, if you have a mobile phone or cell phone, Switch it off now. There is no photography or recording allowed, as it is a breach of copyright law. Please take a moment to note the nearest fire exits to the front and back of the theatre. Danu would like to thank Dubai Irish Society for their support. For more information on Dubai Irish Society, check them out on Facebook or at Dubai Irish Exchange. For more information on Danu Dubai, including our upcoming 1916 production, check us out on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube. Ladies and gentlemen, sit back, relax, and let us transport you to our little country bar in the west of Ireland. Cave Mila Falcha, welcome to the Weir. What's wrong with the Guinness? Ah, I don't know. It's the barrel at the top. It's no barrel and everything. Is the hard one okay? Yeah. Well, would you not switch them around and let a man have a pint of stout? No. <laughs> what about the hard drinkers? The hard drinkers? If your man's come to do it in the morning, have a bottle. I'm having a bottle. I'm not happy about it, mate. <laughs> Go on out of that. What the hell? Good for the worms. I'd say you've a right couple of worms, alright. <laughs> That's some wind, isn't it? It is. It must have been against you, was it? It was. It was against me till I came around the knock. Yeah, it's a funny one. Coming from the north. That's mild enough, though. Ah, yeah. It's bammy enough. It's bammy enough. Were you carried today? I was to know. Had the sisters over, doing the rounds, checking up on me. Checking their investment. Ah, yeah. Of course, they don't have a feckin' clue what they're looking for. Do you know? They're just vaguely... Keeping the pressure off. This is it. Help me to sell the top field. Well, you don't use it much. No, no, I don't. Too much trouble driving a herd up it. <laughs> but I know they're looking at it. All they see is new cars for the hobbies. Ach, you're not just trying to spite them. Get them back, huh? Well, not at all. It's just... Uh, I know, it's a grand spot up there. Were they over the whole day? Got here about two. They gone for lunch up in the arms. Got their story straight. Ah, they were gone all about half four. See, they have no attachment to this place, do they? 
sure they don't. They come and they look around and it's, oh yeah, you know. <laughs> ah, it's gas. Recharge yourself. Oh, was. We went a bit of left. We were on a fast bet. Jimmy was there. We went for a quick one on the pot. How was he? And the man? Ah, oh, Jimmy. He'll be in tonight. And he got us on to a good one. Eleven to four we got around. You learn to listen, huh? Ah, no, sure. Fuck that. So we're having the worst run of shape you wouldn't believe. <laughs> I was that desperate that I'd listen to anyone. Go on over there. Ah, no, I, I'll say it now. Fair juice to him. He got us on to a right one. And it's good, you know. Break a streak like that. You're a user. There's worse. Ah, there might be. But he, he was telling me, have you heard about uh, Maury Nealon's place? No. Well, Jim says he met Finn or Mac down in the spa and he has sold or rented the thing. After how many years has it sat there? That's four or five now, I think it's. Jim says five this month. And Finbar's going bananas, the great fellow that he is, patting himself on the back, good oh! And talking about the new resident, who he says is a fine girl, single, down from Dublin. And Finbar's nearly leaving the wife just to have a chance of your one. Ah, the only mess of mine, but he's bringing her in here tonight, the nearest place to Hardmore and Eelands. Bringing her in for a drink. Meet the natives. Fucking okay, hell. I don't want to come in here using this piss. That sort of carry on. Just okay. man like him. He's only out of shite. Sure, he wouldn't have the nerve. How far to get anyway, the fucking head in him. <laughs> no, I'll tell you what it is. He's bringing her in. And he's the one. He's the one that's with her in whatever fucking sense we're talking about. He's coming in here with her. And there's you and me and the Jimmy family. The Muggins, the single fellas. And there's him, the married fella. And he's all, What well, just look at you, what the fuck's wrong with you boys? You're just single and you just can't get a woman near the place. <laughs> and look at me, I ain't married and I'm having to be at the bath. <laughs> That's the way cunts always go about their business. It's, a, it's intrusive. It's, ah, it's bad, stupid, I carry on is what it is. Mm. Let her come in herself. Yeah, that'd be better. That'd make more sense for fix sakes. I don't know if I'll stay. Ah, go on then. I don't want to leave Jimmy in the lurch now. Try to hold his own in the Finbar Mac world of big business, eh? <laughs> Picking Jimmy talking all that crap at Finbar, huh? That's the thing though. The Jimmy fellas got more going on up here than popular opinion would give him credit for. So we all know too well for God's sake. <laughs> sure I know. We know only too well. Uh, have you any silk up there? Purple. That's the voice. Alright. Close enough. Cheers. I know we'll be at you. But I'll keep at you. Yeah, but what? Don't be acting the cod there now. Uh, a young fella like you, and this place a right going concern. Uh, the odd time. The odd time to think about it. Well, you should. <laughs> what then? So should you. You go on. An old fella like me. <laughs> so what the hell would I want giving up my freedom? And me as well. I suppose there's something to be said for their independence. Uh. A lot to be said for it. Mm. Cheers. Good luck. Oh, Brendan, the luck is changing. I got me and the Jimmy fella on to a right one today. I tell you, that fella would want to start listening to me a bit more often. I'm going to have to start charging you for tips, am I? Huh? Oh, Jimmy, what do you have? Teach you some manners. Teach him some manners, Brendan. Huh? <laughs> Small one, please, Jack. Small one. Sure, it, it'd take more than money to put manners in me, eh? Take a fickin' bomb under you. Bomb is right, now you've said it. Is that wind still up, Jim? Ah, it is, yeah. Ah, warm enough, though. We were just saying. For an orderly. Oh, that's from the west now. Is it? Oh yeah, that's a, that's a westerly. Must have shifted. <laughs> Thank you. Good luck. Cheers. Are we right here? Are we right? Now we are. We're hard enough to come by than giving it away, huh? This is it, yeah. Oh, Jim. What are you doing tomorrow? What time? I have to get over to Connor Boland's. His tractor's packed up. 
I've had father donors drop in since Tuesday. Said it changed the hour and they haven't done it yet. Could you come in and do that and let me get over to Boland's? Yeah, yeah, it'd have to be early, mind. I'm taking the mother down to Schlegel in the morning. Well, whatever. Is that alright? Aye, yeah, I'll come down about quarters now. Point? No. Your grand go on. Uh, pint, please, uh, Brendan. Are uh, you on the, the bottles? <laughs> ah, I'm a listener. Ha! Ah. Tab's faked. I, I was wondering, Jesus, what you might fucking do now, you know, huh? <laughs> if you're a man who'd have a figure, you'd be the only one drinking bottles from now on, huh? <laughs> you would. You would. You'd have feckin' tea. How's the mummy, Jimmy? Ah. I, I, I keep saying I must get down to see her. Ah, whenever, whenever, whenever you can. What do you think you're doing, Jim? I'm out. I've been up there in your own and all. Ah, so where would I go? I was talking to Finbar Mac. Be lucky to get 20,000 for the place, sir. Sure, where would you be going with that, you know? With the acre and all? Ah, the whole, the whole thing. Yeah, you'll be grand with a few little jobs around here. Ah. You, you'll be cosy enough. Uh, Jack was telling me about uh, Finbar and the new... Uh... Oh, I was telling him earlier. I was telling him. Oh, I've seen her since. Oh, yeah. Ah, they were in Finbar's car, going up the head. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> like a, a curtain couple or something? Ah, he's, he's showing her the area. The area? It's a terrible fucking thing, isn't it? What the <laughs> hell does he think he's doing anyway? She's... Uh, uh, this is the only place near to her. She can come in herself, James. Come on now. Uh, well, if it's courtesy, uh, which is one thing, or, or a business act or whatever, then you'd have to say okay, but well, it's getting all messy. Well, this is it. And I'm stuck in here buying this fucking thing. We're here. Look, it's, it's probably not really anything. What age of a woman would you say she was, Jim? Ah, I, I only saw her for a sec. I'd say, ah, like they were in the car and that. About 30s. Very nice looking. Dublin woman. Dublin. Right. And no one in the area, no? No, no, she's coming down, you know. Mm. Good luck. Cheers. Good man. Another week or two, and we'll be seeing the first of the Germans, eh? <laughs> ah, he's stretching the evenings, yeah. You still wouldn't think about clearing one of the fields for a few caravans, no? Ah, the top field. Ah, there won't be a lot of shelter up there, Jack. And there'll be a wind up there that'll cut you. But you know what you could do? No, the, the herds would be grand up there. And you could, you know, down here. They'll be around the news, Jim, you know yourself. I ah, they do. And you're not after the extra revenue. <laughs> or the work. They do be around, all right. I leave the campsites to Finbar, huh? He look after them. Oh, oh, oh. oh Finbar's in right need of a few shekels, huh? <laughs> He's in dire need of a few bob, that's right. Mm. If you had all the families out there, on their holliers and all, and the kids, it wouldn't be long till you find the evenings turning. Which is whatever about how quiet it is now. Be feckin' shopping by them, they'll be leaving. Do you, do you know? Mm. You want a small one, Jack? Go on, small one. Two small ones, please, Brendan. Aye, small fellas. Are you having one yourself? I'm the bed with it, have one. Go on, have one, don't be acting a mess. Go on. A few shekels, huh? <laughs> Jim. Ah, cheers, Jack. Brent. Fags and all, huh? Go on, they're good for you. Go on. <laughs> Keep the chill out, huh? <laughs> this is it. Cheers. Good luck, good luck. Who's out here a car? No. That's Finbar's car. <laughs> oh, he's parked. I never saw the lights. Ah, uh, he came around the knock. Ah, yes, for half the town's not used to nearly live in here. That's it now. There we are now. Man, this is Valerie. She just moved into more Neyland's old house. Hello. How are you doing? Hello. This is Jack Mullen. Has a small garage up around the knock. And this is Jim Kern. Does a bit of work with Jack. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. And this is Brent. 